Okay, if I could uh, could have your guys' attention, guys and gals. I don't mean I mean guys uh, is being to everyone, <laughs> but maybe I'll work on that. Um, so uh, welcome to the uh, the hackathon. It's uh, it, it's great to be here. Um, so I guess I should say yeah, well, welcome back to the hackathon. Um, as you know, we've been having the hackathon you know for a number of years, and then we did it online. And uh, I think it actually worked, you know, uh, better than I thought it would work out with us being totally online. Um, certainly better than nothing, but um, but I, I'm really excited that we have the opportunity to be back here. Uh, for so many of us, we're in person. Some people are still remote, but uh, hopefully this is a sign of um, of things, good things to come. Uh, I'm I'm just curious. Have a few questions. Uh, for how many people this is actually your first in-person event since COVID started? Okay, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good number. I, I thought that might be the case. Um, and then the questions I usually ask, right? how many is this your first hackathon, first IETF hackathon? That's, that's a pretty good number too. And then the one I always find interesting as well, how many of this is your first time doing anything with the IETF? Okay, so mo most, okay, some of you for that too. Well, welcome to the IETF. Uh, I, I, I'm a bit biased, but I think this is a great way to get started with the IETF, and uh, and hopefully uh, you'll find that too. And, and if you're not sticking around for the meeting this time around, that's obviously fine. But hopefully uh, this kind of inspires you to get more involved in other things too. So uh, just a, a quick reminder um, why we're here. So whether we're online or in person, still the goal of the hackathons, we want to be able to advance all the work we do with ITF standards to uh, to work to make our specs better by, by writing some code uh, that implements what we're standardizing then feeding that back into the specs and, and just making more code available I think if you saw the email from from uh, Stuart too having open source implementations is a great way to not only improve a standard but to make it more deployable I think most of us who are here probably believe that already. If you have good examples of it, of course, uh, share those with Stuart. And then, uh, you know, to attract uh, developers and new people into the IETF, which obviously we're doing. So that's another one of the big reasons why we have these. So uh, I also need to remind everyone, especially first time people, the, the IETF, everything we do in the IETF is under the note well. The, the IETF hackathon is no exception. Hopefully you've already familiarized yourself with the note well. Um, if not, take a look at it. Uh, these slides are uh, in the data tracker. You can pull them down from there. They're also on GitHub. Um, and if you have any questions about any of these, uh, we can chat about that more. But the other thing I wanted to uh, mention is that we're, of course, working on code and all that code should have some license associated with it. And so although we're operating under the note well, the code that you're working on uh, probably has a license, too, and make sure you're familiar with that. And so you'll be following um, the rules of it and the rules of how IPR works related to that license. So uh, it, it's good to have a look at, at, at the code you're working on as well. Now discussions and the presentations that we're doing here, those all um, are IETF contributions and fall under the note well. And inclusive language, just uh, I, you know, something I struggle with at times too. I'm, I'm sure a lot of us do think about the words you choose, but in general, just, just be nice to each other, be welcoming to each other. 
you know, I see that already here with, with what's gone on. Everyone seems very welcoming, and so I think we have a great culture. But just try to keep it in mind and, uh, and make it easier for us all to, to work together with each other. All right, projects. So last I checked, we had about 20, over 20 projects. They're all on the wiki. If you haven't had a chance to, to look through them, I uh, suggest you do that. Most of you seem to have already found a table. You probably know which project you're working on, and that's great. But feel free to, and I think it's great if you do, talk with the people working on the other projects, especially ones that are kind of related. Because oftentimes you'll find that um, you have expertise or interest across multiple projects. And the fact that we're here in person makes it a little bit easier to uh, go in, in and switch off between groups too. So, so take advantage of the fact that you're here. If you're not sure which project to join, um, you can also go to the lost and found. And uh, this is both for people who need people on their projects, can say, hey, these are the skill sets we're lacking right now that we could really use. And it's for people who are like, hey, these are things that I'm interested in. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm happy to help any project for which you know that they need those skills. Then you can put those there as well. And of course, you can just walk around to the tables too. Okay, so the agenda. Uh, we're already at the the kickoff. As I mentioned, that there was some some snacks, and they'll they'll be back there. We'll have lunch brought in. So. Uh, hopefully you you can of course take off whenever you you want to manage your own time but if you want to stay here and keep working we'll have lunch brought in and it'll be out there you'll be able to bring it into the room uh, there'll also be some snacks in the afternoon and then we will have dinner provided and so you're welcome to stay here and work here all day if that works for you we will close the room at, at uh, nine o'clock and uh Please just be mindful of that. We want to be able to, to clear the room so the hotel staff can shut it down and, uh, and everyone can get to uh, doing other things at a reasonable time. And then again, tomorrow, the doors will open at 9.30 like they did today. Uh, lunch will be provided. Now, the main thing I want to point out is that um, we will be doing the project presentations starting at 2 o'clock. And I encourage you to share your results um, of what you were able to accomplish and, and, and that type of thing. So think about that as you're, you're working along here and plan your time accordingly. That these are very short, simple presentations for those of you who have been here before, but um, it still takes a little bit of time to get them together. And we'll start it at 2 o'clock, so you'll want to be able to make sure that you have your presentation ready to go at that time. And then the, the hackathon will, will, regardless of how many presentations we have, we'll make sure that we're done by uh, within two hours, so that we can stop at four o'clock. And, and that's when the hackathon will end. And then we have an hour to kind of uh, clear the room and, and tear everything down. Any questions about the agenda? Okay. So, we still have a number of people who are uh, remote and teams where we have people who are here in person and remote. We wanna be able to facilitate that. Uh, Gather is a great tool that we've been using for a couple of years now to help us when we, we did meet online. And so encourage you to use it now and to work with, um, with people who may not be here in the room. And uh, so I have a picture here of the gather space and you can see to get into the hackathon room there's a little arrow here if you follow that it'll take you to the hackathon space and then if you go to that space you'll find tables that look a lot like the ones here only they didn't get the nice white tablecloths that we got um, but you, you're welcome to take one of the tables there and use that for your team and then you can meet around that that table you can um, then and invite others who may be remote to come join you at that table. And you'll be able to have uh, audio video conferences within that, share notes, those, that type of thing. So hopefully this helps you with that interaction with remote and in-person uh, teams. And one of the things we'd like to know is get some feedback from you as to how well that works. So, so please do give that a try and let us know if you find that useful. 
The other thing, I don't know if anyone's taking advantage of this this time around, uh, access remotely to, to the IETF network or just for some advanced functionality. If you need anything kind of more layer two-ish for your project, is, did anyone make any networking requests of the NOC this time around? Okay, well, I won't, uh, won't spend time on that one then. Maybe some of the remote teams uh, will, will be using that. Okay, I mentioned the presentations. So, and I think I, hopefully I said, these are pretty short, pretty simple presentations. Just, just quick hitters of what it was you were trying to solve with your project, what you achieved, what you achieved, what you learned, um, sharing that. So the idea with these is they should be five minutes at the very most. And if they're only two or three minutes, that's actually great. They're just to give people a general idea um, and people who aren't necessarily familiar with in depth with what you were doing, just give them an idea of what it was that you did. And then if they have some interest, they can always come and talk with you more about it. So, so this is just a very short kind of high level presentation. And we'll give, uh, everyone's invited to do those. And I encourage you, if you're here at the hackathon, that you do put together one of these so that you can sh share your results with, with everyone. Now, when you, um, you put together your presentation, what we'll want to be able to do is to share them on GitHub. So what I have here is a link to the IETF GitHub org. And within that, we have a repo just for this IETF, for IETF um, 113. So within that, um, that repo, if you go to it, you'll find a few things. You'll find, first of all, there are these uh, templates and so you're welcome to download and use these templates to help you put your presentation together. You don't have to use them, but many people find them find it useful just because it kind of gives you a, a format and uh, helps you or helps remind you the questions that we want you to answer. So those are there to, to help you out. Now, once you have your presentation, you'll need to upload it into this uh, repo. And in order to do that, you need to be a member of the IETF GitHub org. If you aren't already a member from previous hackathons, you can become a member. And there's some instructions in the README here that show you exactly how to do that. And uh, so you can follow those. The main things are you need to make sure that you associate your name with your, your GitHub account. Hopefully that's already been done, but it's very handy. If, if you just have a username that's a little cryptic, uh, please put your real name uh, or the name that you're known by and make sure that you have two-factor authentication enabled just so that we don't end up getting hacked because uh, that wouldn't be good and then so you send a, a request to uh to barry and myself the hackathon chairs and we will get you added okay this is one thing that's new that i wanted to highlight so the data tracker, hopefully you've been seeing, we're getting all kinds of new, uh, great functionality implemented in the data tracker. And one of the cool things is being able to correlate a little bit better between a draft or an RFC that you're working on and some running code, some implementation related to it. So there's a new tag that you can associate within the data tracker. And you can use that, it's, it's called related implementations. And so when you see the additional information here in the data tracker, if it's a, a personal draft of yours, an individual draft, you'll be able to edit, you'll, you'll get a little edit thing like that. And so you can put the link to where you're running code, where your implementation is. Or if it's a working group draft, you can ask your working group chair to add that for you. Or if it's an RFC, again, the working group chair can add that for you. And so it's a really cool way that with uh, a given draft, you can point to one or more uh, implementations that you actually have of it. So I, I really encourage you to do this for the projects you're working on. I think it'd be a great way to help people who aren't here, who aren't familiar with um, the code you're working on to realize that there is code related to the draft. So please give that a try. And if you have any problems with it, you can come see me, we, we can chat about it. Okay, so uh, then when 
the hackathon ends, well, it's not really over. We still have an opportunity to share what we've done a bit more. And so Hack Demo Happy Hour, this is something we haven't been able to do when we've been remote. Now it, it's back. So on Monday, this is a chance for you to really discuss your project in more details. I mentioned how the presentations are pretty short, just kind of give people an idea of if they're, they want to talk with you more. Uh, Hack Demo Happy Hour, that's a great time. You can present, you can be there, you can be sharing what you did with your project. And people from the IETF community, even people who aren't here in the room right now, can come by and, and have a more in-depth conversation with you. We'll have some snacks and a cash bar there just to make it a little bit um, easier for you to hang out and enjoy it. But the idea is that you can really have those more in-depth conversations around your project. And so that's from 5 to 6.30 on Monday. And if you're interested in doing that, uh, please make sure that you let us know so we have enough space reserved. Uh, register before noon on Monday. And if you already know you want to do it, register now. You can register any time up until uh, noon on, on Monday. And uh, if you go to the wiki, you'll see the links to get to the registration page. Then the code lounge, that'll be uh, actually here in this space. I forgot to mention for the Hack Demo Happy Hour, You'll see it, it's in this same space. We're, we're on room one and two right now. The Grand uh, Klimt Hall one and two is where we are now. So part of this will be dedicated to the Code Lounge. And the other part will be also used for Hack Demo Happy Hour. So the Code Lounge, the idea is that all throughout the week, you'll be able to come here and just sit down at a table. You'll have access to power, and you can work on code. Uh, so. It's not just limited to the hackathon. It's not like you get everything done just over the course of the weekend. So you're welcome to come here anytime. You'll be able to use the IETF lounge, but then there'll be uh, space and power for you to work on code. And it's just a, an easy way to have space to come together and, and meet with the people on your team. If you find it useful, you can actually schedule time to help coordinate too. And so there's a link there where you can do that. And then uh, I also want to thank uh, Sia and Nick. They are our Running Code sponsor. And uh, again this year, or, for, or for, again for this IETF hackathon. So that really helps fund uh, our efforts here so that we do have food and coffee and space and all those good things. And I'm a little out of practice with running this. And I actually forgot, and I just realized that uh, I wanted to invite Lars uh, our IETF chair, <laughs> to come and say a few words. I'm sorry, Lars, for making you sit there through all this. Um, but please, please come. And I think this is the first hackathon uh, since you became chair. Is that right? Where we've been in person? The first in-person one. Oh, OK. Thanks, all right. so, so yeah, I don't have much to say. I'm, I'm Lars Eckert. I chair the IETF. I, I took over from Melissa Cooper a year ago. So this is the first time I'm in person, like we all are. Very glad to see so many people participating in the hackathons again, and I think it's going to keep going up until we're back at the regular strength. But this is already much more people than I thought we were going to have, so this is great. I um, want to also thank the, the running code sponsors, specifically Sia and Nick, and I think Cisco is also pitching in some money, and also the, the chairs of the, of the hackathon events, which is Charles, and I think Barry is your co-chair, right, who's in the back there, uh, because they do actually all the heavy lifting of organizing this. And, um, Without them and also the sponsors, right? We we couldn't like trick you to staying here as long as possible by bringing in food and drinks and that sort of stuff. So so this is actually well appreciated by everybody. Um, so have fun, enjoy, write some code. Um, it, it's really nice that the ITF has open standards that, that everybody can can read and implement. And uh, there's a sort of synergy between open source and open uh, standards that I think the hackathon has been really good at sort of teasing out and and strengthening. So I'm very glad to see this uh, growing over time. So thanks, guys. If you want to talk to me, anything IDF related, find me. I'm in the back there at the quick table. I'll be in and out all day or all week. Just stop me at all. Enjoy. OK. Thank you, Lars. And uh, so that's it for the things I wanted to present. Uh, any questions? You can, of course, come and see me. I'll, I'll be roaming around uh, the whole time. but. Uh, Anything top of mind that you just wanted to get answered now? OK. Well, great, Wade. Thanks a lot for uh, taking the time out and listening. Hopefully, this didn't take up too much of your valuable time. 
and uh, uh, I'll let you get to it. Hopefully this is a, a great hackathon for all of you. Thanks again. Oh. Actually, th there's one thing I, I forgot to say, and um, I'm actually presenting by being in Miteco right now. Uh, this is the first time we've kind of done it this way. But for those of you who, uh, whether you're, you're, you're new or, or you've been in the remote uh, hackathons, we're going to try to do all the presentations through Miteco. So you might want to just make sure you're, you're, if you're, if you plan on presenting for your project, uh, just give you a, a heads up now that that's where we're going to be doing it. So get your, basically the idea is you get your, your presentation ready, you upload it to the GitHub uh, account that I mentioned. And then before the session starts for the presentation, Sunday at, at 2 p.m., we will pull everything that's in the GitHub org that I, I showed to you before, will get pulled into Miteco, and then you'll be able to, to just, um, from Miteco, you'll be able to drive your presentation. So you'll bring your laptop, whoever's presenting, you'll bring your laptop up here like I am now. You'll be joined in Miteco, you'll be able to share your slides through Miteco. So that's the way we're going to do the, the presentations. So sorry for forgetting to mention that before, but I'll just give you the heads up. I'll give you a reminder on Sunday. Uh, so make sure you're, you have your Miteco skills <laughs> up and uh, so that you're ready to do that on Sunday if you are the one presenting for your team. Okay, thanks again. <laughs>